Bioki 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 is mean illness or disease. The first kanji bio is from the kanji of uh, bio in. Bio in is mean the hospital. So when we say about the hospital, we say about the person go to uh, check the health. And that is about anything that you heard or you got problem about your health. So you go to the hospital and they use the kanji bio in, right? So, at the same time, they also use uh, the kanji bio with the kanji of ki to uh, represent for the illness or disease. And the kanji of uh, ki, ki is mean your mind, your mood, and your feeling. So, this means you got hurt about your mind, your feeling, about your body. So we use the uh, word bioki to represent for illness or uh, disease. And in here we have the uh, example like Suzuki-san wa senshu kara bioki desu. Suzuki-san wa senshu kara Bioki des, which means that uh, Mr. Suzuki has been sick since last week. Senshu is mean last week, and kala, kala is mean from. So when we say senshu kala is mean from last week or since last week. And bioki this is mean uh, being sick or get hurt about your body. So we say bioki this. The bioki we just use for uh, generally we don't specify that you hurt your feet, you hurt your hand, or what type of the hurt you got. So this is about how to use the bioki bioki is mean illness or disease ninki 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 is mean popularity the first kanji nin is from the kanji of the people or is from the kanji that are hito Hito is mean uh, the person or the people and ki ki is mean uh, the mood, the feeling and the emotion so when we use the uh, kanji uh, people with the kanji that you are feeling that means uh, something that uh, put in the people that the feeling they put in the people so in the case like this we say uh, popularity ninki 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 popularity kanojo wa totemo ninki ga arimasu kanojo wa totemo ninki ga arimasu means she's very popular she's she's very popular and this sentence kanojo kanojo is mean she and totemo totemo is mean very or a lot of and ninki ninki is mean popular and ga alimas which mean have or there is there are that mean uh there are many there uh, it has a lot of people in that person so kanojo wa totemo ninki ga arimasu for example you are the uh, idol overnight the first you are not popular but after you 
B are the singer and you can have a, a interesting uh, song so after that you can be uh, an idol overnight so after that you are really ninki you are really popular so in the case like this you can say kanojo wa dotemo ninki ga arimasu or you can say and the way like ninki na hito desu kanojo wa ninki na hito desu or you can say tanaka san wa ninki na hito desu ne this mean mr tanaka san is really popular person Kimochi 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 is mean feeling or sensation. The first kanji ki is mean your feeling, your emotion or your mood. And the second kanji mochi. Mochi is mean you hold something. If you hold something up or if you take something up is mean mochi and when you have the uh, kanji ki is mean feeling and mochi is mean hold this means you hold the feeling so this means you have uh, the sense section you have the sense in your mind so in the case like this we translate the word kimochi to be like feeling or sense section that means the feeling from your heart, the feeling that you can uh, make sense from your deep heart. And in here we have the example like Kesa kara ashi ga itakute kimochi ga yoku nai desu. Kesa kara ashi ga itakute kimochi ga yoku nai desu. Which means my feet have been hurting since this morning and I feel not good. Or you can say like uh, my feet have been hurting since this morning so uh, that's why I feel not good. Uh, I feel bad or something like this. And for the uh, descendant Kesa. Kesa is mean this morning. For example, uh, in the morning 7 a.m. and you got the hurt from your feet. But after uh, around 10 o'clock to 11 p.m. 11 a.m. that you can say Kesa. This mean in the morning or something that happened in the past. So Kesa. Kala, kala is mean from. Ashi, ashi is mean your feet or your foot. Ashi, itai, itakute, itakute. Uh, itai is from the kanji itai, itai is mean hurt. Itai des, which mean I feeling hurt or I got hurt or I get hurt. Itai des, which mean hurt. But in here, uh, you want to create uh, two sentences together. So you can say, Itakute. Itakute is mean you got hurt. Hurt what? It's about your feet. And kimochi ga. Kimochi is mean feeling or the section. The same section. Ga yokunai des. Yokunai is mean not good or is bad. So you can say kimochi ga yokunai desu. It means you get angry, you have a bad mood, you have a, you don't want to talk with anybody, you don't want to say about good thing, you have a, the angry in your mind, in your body. So you don't want to talk with anybody in a good way. So in this case, like you can say kimochi ga yokunai desu. But sometimes when you don't want to talk or you feeling not good about yourself, but somebody you can can you can uh, control yourself so you can say uh, it seem to be nothing happened to you. So this is a uh, great person. 
空気、空気、空気 is mean air or atmosphere. The first kanji ku. This kanji from the kanji ah、uh, solar, solar or ku. They use just that、uh, this the same kanji. And solar is mean the sky or something、uh, in the space with the、uh, air. So solar is mean the sky, and ki ki is mean the mood or ki ah、uh, it have a、uh, two meaning right. One meaning is mean about the the mood or the feeling, but another ah、uh, meaning is mean that the、uh, the weather right. So or the climate. So we can you have the two meaning, and in here they say ku ki. So when we put the kanji of the sky and the kanji of the climate, so it mean about the air or the atmosphere, or the atmosphere. この部屋は空気が悪いです。この部屋は空気が悪いです。この部屋は空気が悪いです。Which mean the air in this room is not good, or the atmosphere in this room is not good, or you can say like the atmosphere in this room is Bad. And kono kono is mean this, and heya heya is mean the room. And kuki kuki is mean the atmosphere or the air. And walu walu is mean bad or not good. So, and in this sentence, we can translate to be like kono heya is mean ah、uh, this room kuki ga. Kuki ga walui desu, which means the air in this room is not good. Tanki, tanki, tanki is mean quick temper, the quick temper. The first kanji tang. This kanji is from the kanji of ah、uh, mitsukai. Mitsukai is mean short, so this kanji mean something that short. And the second kanji, the second kanji is mean mood or the feeling. The key, right? Key is mean your mind, your feeling, or your sensation. So this mean ah、uh, when you put the the kanji tang, which mean something that short with the kanji that. Key, which means your feeling, your emotion. So that means your emotion is short. So in the same, in the way like this, we can translate to be like quick temper. This means you get、uh, angry or you get、uh, something that quick in your emotion. Tanaka san wa yasashi kere de mo to te mo tanki na hito des. Tanaka san wa yasashi kere de mo to te mo tanki na hito des. One more again. Tanaka san wa yasashi kere de とても短期な人です。Which mean Tanaka san is kind but very short temper. Or you can say like Mr. Tanaka is kind but very short temper. In here, yasashi, yasashi is mean kind or the kind person, right? And kedo mo, kedo. Or kedo mo is mean but, but is the ah、uh, you say ah、uh, in the polite form so you can say kedo mo. Or kedo is mean but and tote mo is tote mo mean very, very. 
tangki tangki short temper hito hito is mean person this mean the person that has uh, the short temperate so in this sentence it mean uh, mr tanaka san is is the kind person but uh, he or she is the person that uh, being very short of temper so tanki is mean that the person that uh, just do something and got and can be angry easily angry easily so this is about the tanki meaning and how to use and don't forget that tanki is uh, be the knowledge diff